Today, we're diving into three aspects that go beyond words and effective communication, inspired by Kimi Ni Toke, also known as From Me to You. This show dives into the nuances of communication and understanding beyond just words through the growth of its shy protagonist. Just like how Sawako communicates her feelings through her actions and expressions, we explore how effective communication goes beyond just talking. Welcome back, Zenroku family. Michael Yerby here at MichaelYerby.com, reporting the latest news in anime, hip hop, and personal development. As your friendly neighborhood Air Force Master Sergeant, turned personal development expert, and anime junkie, last week we explored three reasons why failure is a stepping stone to innovation, using Space Brothers as our guide. We had a blast discussing how our biggest flops can lead to our greatest innovations, much like how a pancake can always land on the floor. You know, you got the pancake, you're trying to do your little flip, and you're like, oh man. In this episode, we're going to cover three main aspects. The power of nonverbal cues, emotional intelligence in communication, building genuine connections. So without further ado, let's jump into our first topic, the power of nonverbal cues. Remember, just like Kimi ni Teruke, where a simple smile can change everything. Sometimes it's not what you say, but how you say it that matters. Sounds like a chapter from my wife. She's always like, it's not what you said, it's how you said it, you meow, 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 meow. Okay, okay, if my wife's watching, I'm sorry, I apologize, don't beat me up. Facial expressions are powerful tools in communication. In Sawako's shy smile and wide-eyed curiosity often conveys more than her words. In the real world, our facial expressions can reveal our true feelings, even when we're trying to hide them. Think about how raising an eyebrow or a smirk can completely change the meaning of a sentence. So next time you're in a conversation, pay attention to the faces around you. They might be telling you more than their words. Body language is another critical aspect of nonverbal communication. Just like Sawako's posture change as she grows more confident, our body language can reflect our feelings and attitudes. Crossing your arms might be a sign of defensiveness. More open gestures can indicate openness and honesty. Practicing good posture and positive body language can help you convey confidence and approachability. Eye contact is essential for effective communication. In Kimi, Sawako's tentative eye contact often reflects her nervousness, but as she becomes more confident, her gaze becomes more direct and confident. Maintaining eye contact shows you're engaged and interested in the conversation. However, be mindful of cultural differences as eye contact norms can vary widely. I know in some African cultures, staring too intensely at a grown-up or a person that's in authority over you can be a sign of disrespect. So you might not want to do that in certain cultures. So really be mindful. What did we discuss in our last section? Facial expressions reveal true feelings and enhance communication. Body language reflects confidence and openness. Eye contact shows engagement and interest. Next up, we dive into emotional intelligence and communication. Much like Sawako's journey of understanding her emotions and others developing emotional intelligence can significantly improve our interactions. Recognizing and understanding emotions both in yourself and others is crucial. Sawako learned to read her friend's emotions, which helped her respond more empathetically. Being aware of emotional cues can help you navigate conversations more effectively, ensuring you respond appropriately to the other person's feelings. Managing your own emotions is just as important. Sawako often struggled with her shyness and her fear of rejection, but as she learned to manage these feelings, her communication improves. By staying calm, collected, and even in difficult situations, you can communicate more clearly and effectively. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. Sawako growth in empathy helps her build stronger connections with her friends. Practicing empathy in your conversations can help you connect on a deeper level and build trust and understanding. Emotional intelligence, not emotional damage, is a game changer in communication. By recognizing, managing, and empathizing with emotions, we can significantly 
greatly enhance our interactions. Recognizing emotions helps navigate conversations empathetically. Managing emotions ensures clear and effective communication. And last but not least, empathy builds deep connections and trust. Finally, let's dive into building genuine connections, just like Sarako's journey to make real friends. Our goal is to create meaningful interactions that go beyond superficial chatterboxes and chatting and talking to people and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Active listening is essential for building genuine connections. In Kimi, Sawako's ability to truly listen to her friends helps her understand them even better. By paying full attention, asking clarifying questions, and showing genuine interest, we can foster deeper connections with others. Being authentic is key to forming real relationships. Sawako's journey is about embracing her true self and being accepted for who she is and not what she identify as. Being honest and transparent in your interactions encourages others to do the same, leading to more genuine and lasting conversations and connections. Sharing personal stories helps build rapport and trust. Sawako's openness about her past experiences helps her friends understand her better. By sharing your own stories, you can create a bond with others and encourage them to share their own experiences. Remember, like Sawako's heartfelt journey, our goal is to communicate with empathy and authenticity. And you do that with active listening, fosters deeper connections, being authentic, encouraging genuine relationships, and sharing personal stories, builds rapport and trust. We covered a lot today from nonverbal cues to emotional intelligence and building genuine connections. Let's wrap up with a quick summary and a challenge for the week. Nonverbal cues like facial expressions, body language, and eye contact enhances communication beyond words. Emotional intelligence helps recognize, manage, and empathize with emotions, improving our interactions. And building genuine connections through active listening, authenticity, and sharing personal stories fosters deeper relationships. To conclude, let's embrace the lessons for Kamini Toroki and challenge ourselves to apply their insights in our daily lives. Reflect on a recent conversation. How did you use your nonverbal cues, emotional intelligence, or genuine connection techniques? Share your experiences and any insights you gained. What anime character do you think exemplifies effective communication beyond words? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Join the waitlist for the Peak Society group at michaelyerby.com backslash the Peak Society and let's build a community where we can dive deep into discussions about growth, challenges, and of course, anime. Remember, my premium online courses are absolutely free on michaelyerby.com. Just click the course link below to tune into your development. Yes, you're the, I'm talking to you at no cost. All I ask is that you buy some merch, share the merch, and support the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Thanks for tuning in, Zenroku family. Until next time, keep looking at nonverbal cues, embracing emotional intelligence, and paying it for by building genuine connections. Peace.